Hey YouTube, this is CBR Rider 615 coming at you from my living room again. Um, so basically what's been going on with me, sorry I haven't been vlogging lately. Uh, my helmet camera actually is not staying on my helmet like it should be. So I gotta figure out some way to uh, remount that and once I do that then I'll start be you know vlogging again. So that, that's kind of been temporarily you know stopping me. Uh, I also started a new job, so my hours are completely different. It's a full-time job. I get off at like 4.30 every day, except for Thursdays I'm off late. So, I mean, it's kind of new schedule to get used to instead of working nights all the time. And, uh, you know, I mean, I just thought I'd keep in touch and make another video and just say, you know, hey, I'm not gone. It's just been uh, pretty busy lately. And uh, have gone riding a couple times with some people. Uh, uh, one of my buddies from work, or my previous employer, he had recently bought a uh, Kawasaki ZX6R, and it's a uh, it's a blue color. It's kind of a darker blue. It's really pretty. Um, and you know, he just started riding not too long ago, and uh, him and a couple buddies of mine were uh, were riding and kind of having fun, goofing off a little bit, and. We decided that we were going to take, you know, some pretty quick corners, some sharp turns and things like that. And uh, we go up through a college parking lot, which is kind of S-curves, you know, never busy on the weekend. I mean, no classes were going on. I mean, it's just empty, completely empty. And we're like, you know what, this is the safest place to be rather than, you know, going through the city streets and all that. You know, we're just, you know, <laughs> causing problems. I mean, granted, that's still a city street. It's still the driveway too, and it's just this long path that just you know kind of winds and you know goes around the college and all that. And uh, we had gone down it to get to one of our spots that we like to kind of cruise and relax. And on our way back, we took the same way. And you know, him and I are like, you know, hey, let's let's race. You know, let's see whose bike is faster. You know, I got a you know a 2006 Honda CBR 600 RR, and I believe he's got an 04 or an 05, something like that. Kawasaki ZX6R. I'm not sure what the year is. I don't think I've ever asked him. Um, but you know, he's like, okay, yeah, sure, we can, we can, we can race. And you know, I mean, I, I can still play this in my head because I mean, you don't want this to happen. But you know, I mean, I'm in full gear. I got the, you know, carbon fiber gloves. We're, we're all wearing helmets, at least. I'm wearing the armored jacket, you know, which is, you know, granted, it's summertime. I still wear it. I, I religiously wear that thing. Every single time I'm on the bike, I wear it. Even if it's just going for a short cruise, I don't care if I'm uncomfortable. I'm going to be safe, personally. I mean, I, I know some people are like, oh, well, if I'm going to be gone for like five minutes, I'm not going to wear the jacket. That's too much time. That's too much effort. And it's really, really hot. Okay, personal choice. So, uh, basically what, uh, what went on was uh, we decided that we were going to race and we started going through these corners and about that time I see a whole bunch of gravel on one of the corners and, you know, I had to be going about 55, somewhere around there into this corner which really doesn't seem that fast, but I'll, I'll end up doing a vlog once my helmet camera's back on, and I'll show you what, you know, these corners look like. And, you know, my friend, you know, he followed me, and I saw this gravel. I hit the gravel, and, you know, I kind of felt a little bit of a shake, and as soon as that happened, I looked at my mirror, my right side mirror, and I see him go off on the right side and about that time I knew he was going to go down so you know I mean I see him fall off the bike his bike skids and he's wearing a t-shirt and jeans it ripped his jeans it kind of gave him a blister on his hand and it skinned up his arm a little bit he was able to get the bike up able to walk able to do everything you know I mean he was lucky and you know it was just, you know, I flipped a Yui, and by that time, his bike was already picked back up. You know what I mean? He didn't waste any time. And we kind of sat there, you know, let me get his breath. And, 
he's, you know, just, you know, I'm okay, I'm okay, don't worry about me, I'm good, I'm good, you know, I'm, I'm okay, you know, I've gone down once before, you know, and he did a low speed, you know, fall off, and I mean, just to see his bike afterwards was just, it was, it was bad, because it's like, man, if I wouldn't have said anything, he wouldn't have gone down, you know, and it's kind of bad on my part, and bad on his part, and you know, I mean, he, he did the thing that, you know, I mean, he did what instinct told him, and that was to press on the front brake. And, you know, I, I said, you know, just anything, press the press on the clutch and hit the rear brake. Let that tire skid. You know, don't hit that front brake. Otherwise, you're going to you're gonna lock up that front wheel, and you're going to go off one way or another. You're either going to go over the front or off on the side. I just, you know, I would just rather let that back tire skid a little bit like a bike, you know. And uh, so that's pretty much what's been going on. Uh new job, getting some people to ride and all that, and I mean, hopefully we'll get more, so, you know, if you guys watch my videos, uh, just, you know, keep doing what you're doing, like, comment, subscribe, private message me, whatever, if you want to hang out and you're in the area, let me know, I'm always up for meeting new people and all that, I mean, even if you don't have a bite, but you just want to chill, you know, I mean, let me know, I'm always down to hang out with people. You know, you never you can never have too many friends. You know, who knows? You may want a bike, and you know, seeing people on bikes may influence you even more, or it may turn you the opposite way. I've seen people that say, "I want to get a bike," and as soon as they see what it entails, they're like, "Nah, never mind. I don't want it. That's that's a waste of my time." But uh, basically, that's what's been going on with me. Uh, not not too much has been really happening. I haven't had the most time to ride and. You know, it's just, you know, I mean, it's life. Sometimes you don't get what you want, and, you know, I know that it'll work out for me eventually. But, uh, you know, just keep watching my, you know, videos. Subscribe if you like my channel, you know, all that. You know, if you like my videos, if you think I'm cool, just just subscribe. You know, watch watch my videos, you know, comment. I mean, anything, if, even if it's criticizing. I don't care. Whatever is constructive criticism. Or, you know, if you say, hey, you know, I really like what you did here, you know, I really like that, or I don't like this, or, you know, I mean, you should do this, you know, I, I always take suggestions on what I can do for a video, so, I mean, it's it's completely open, it's an open book, it's however you want it to be, so, I'm going to cut this short, because I want it to be under 8 minutes, and it probably will be, so, uh, it takes a while, I mean, it's over 8 minutes, so, again, like, comment, subscribe, <coughs> And I guess uh, until next time, later.